there are three tests that I do every time someone talks to me about their SEO and they want to know how they're doing on the search engines. These three tests are tests that 99.9% .9 of everyone will pass immediately. But the problem is they may pass it, but it will tell about 25% of them, it'll tell them they have a problem. Now, let me just give you a quick example of this. I ran this test for a $150 million company. He f not only failed one of them, but th a second one, it was a dismal, dismal performance. And the CEO had no idea that these problems ex existed. So let me just show you real quick what these what these things are. So let's go here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out by putting a site colon and then your site name. So let's just do frog.com, okay? I happen to like frogs. And so we're just going to do site.frog.com. Okay, what you're looking for is this. What this, is, what this does is it does a search within this site. And because you haven't got any other parameters, what it does is it tells you how many pages Google has indexed. For that particular site, there are 326 pages indexed in that site. That means they passed this particular test because Google has indexed 326 pages. Now, here's the problem. If they've got 1,000 pages on their site, they just failed that test because they only got 326 of them indexed. And so you're going to want to go in and look at, are you, how many pages do you actually have on your site versus how many of them are indexed like are showing up here? If that number is a vast difference, that means you have a whole bunch of pages on your site that are not indexed. All right, here's the second test. This time you put in frog your site name without the dot in it. So you replace the dot with the space. What this does is it tells you, it'll cut, it tells you, is your page suffering a Google penalty where, so one of the things that, that the search engines sometimes do is that they have accused you of spamming, if they've accused you of buying links, if they've accused you of all kinds of bad things, one of the things they can do is they can manually put a penalty on there that says, hey, nothing, no page for this particular site should show up below number ranking number 20. So if you put in your site name the way I just put it in, your site without the dot and the and then the the suffix on it so frog space com and your site shows up first that means you pass the test if it doesn't show up and you just keep scrolling down until you find it that means that you very likely have a Google penalty where you've had a manually manual penalty put on you that says your pages can't come up below above a certain ranking. So if that is true for you, go put in other pages on your site to ensure that that's not just happening on your homepage. So for example, one of the big players in the internet marketing space had this penalty executed on him. He went down 20 spots, three months later he was gone and he literally has never been back in 17 years back in Google's listings, okay? If you got this penalty, you got a problem and you gotta go fix it immediately. And the way you do that is not by go hiring another search engine company to get you in the rankings because they're just going to cheat too. Okay. The third thing, and this isn't going to work for frog.com <coughs> because the third thing is you put in the first part of your domain name without a .com or anything and you see what shows up. Unfortunately, frog, hey, it thinks we're going to search for frogs. So let's do this. Let's just put in Don Crowther. No space. What this is looking for is Am I coming up above my Facebook and my LinkedIn and my Twitter accounts? Okay. If I am, that's showing good. My site is doing, I'm, I'm doing well with my site and uh, my site is getting more importance in the mind of Google than my Facebook, than my LinkedIn and everything else. And so you're going down looking for, hey, all the places that you're showing up with your name with no spaces. And hey, since you're, and so if you, if you're using your domain name and your domain name is not your personal name. So for example, let's just say scam busters, you're looking for it to show up there and you're show and you're looking for all the different, all the different references to that. Okay. So scam busters is passing this test. 
Okay, so now let's go take this same set of three tests and just run it on me, okay? So site colon Don Crowther, because my site is doncrowther.com, okay? So I'm gonna see how many pages. They got 494 uh, results. I got about 511 pages. And so that means most, almost all of them are showing up. But an interesting thing here, isn't this interesting? My homepage shows up first, which is absolutely the thing you wanna have happen. You wanna have your homepage show up first. But then after that, it's my category pages that are showing up. But I don't even work on my category pages. That's telling me, hmm, I probably ought to go look at that in this process and work on my category pages. Okay, so now I'm gonna take site off. I'm gonna take the period out and replace it with a space to make sure I haven't got any domain penalties. There's no domain penalties because what first shows up is me under my name, my, my URL, and then it comes down with my other ones. And then we just, the third test is just do a search on you and that's the test I've already shown you. So I'm passing this test, good, okay. Are you? So that's my question for you is how are you doing in this particular test? What I'd love to have you do is go run those three tests and put the results in the comments so that I know if any of you are not passing the test, I wanna know if you are passing it, let me know also, okay? Three tests, I'll put them in the comments so that you've got them. Quick and easy two minute drill. If you don't pass any of these tests, you got problems and you need to solve it. If you do, don't sit and say, hey, I got, I'm doing great. That doesn't mean you're doing great. All this is is a disaster check, okay? This is Don Crowther saying, just go do this stuff. Mm -hmm.